You cannot go higher if you don't have good driver. And he's been a top support player in the world for a long time, even longer than me. So I'm actually excited to face him again. Core JJ with a beautiful hook! Core JJ is very good. He plays very smart. And also, I think he's a very good leader. The counter attack comes down. Core JJ never afraid! The turn from Core JJ is just unreal. He achieved so many things in young team. They made a world final. And I know it is how hard making a World Finer. Our job in the team is similar. If you want to play well in bot lane, you must have a player who can lead another one. That's why I think Kozeze did really well with tactical. Kozeze has a beautiful hook. Plays ready to go in diamond. I think he's dead here. The shot from is out. Tactical able to pick one up. I also will teach Lust a lot and try to improve uh, together. And I trust Lust that we can do better. The Alistair combo! Diamond is getting shut down! <laughs> oh, Alice might get caught. What a perfect pulverize! People can see like similarity between us and TSM. With like veteran support plus young ADC. So like, if you can show the gap, then it's, it is like extra fun. <laughs> I think because last time we played in uh, locking a stage, uh, not really well, but I think everything will change because after that match, we learned a lot. And I think now we are not the same player as that time. So this time we will be playing. Sword Art already joining here with a heroic entrance. First gonna have to be careful. Good stun by Sword Art. There's the combo. There's the deletion. In Berlin, it's gonna be permanently fighting, and then someone will bleed, no matter what happens. And I'm sure it's gonna be them. Because Huni was able to, to whittle down on the wave and because uh, Spika was clearing over to that side, they backed off with the red buff fight though. Uh, this is what you talked about. It's it's TL having counter pick in mid. Okay! Nice try on the ulti. Jensen just gonna get some damage and walk away. Has to burn his flash though to live. Uh, and secure this vision. TSM with great vision co coverage over the bottom side. Shield comes in. Not a lot of damage dealt right there. Level 6 for tactical. Could choose to open up with the ulti. Will not go for it as there's not really a play to be had. And they're just going to sit there in the 3v3. Cordage Day sitting in the brush. Sword Art more or less the same. Flashes in for the big play. Stunned at Haskell. He's going to flash away with his cleanse back on. And the re-engage is beautiful. First blood comes across. Already one for nothing. The sleep comes across. Cordage J is one hit away. And Speak is going to find that kill. Can't get the slow. Lost a bit low. W's going to land. Not more to be grabbed. But the one for one. Uh, with the extra plasma stacks on Cordage J. Goes in. Makes sure he gets it. Doesn't have to burn his flash either. Hoonie goes for the all-in here. On to Alfari. Yeah, a couple of ults back and forth. Hooney finally goes back to Mini Nara, but his health bar is still good. Alfari forced to flash away. Hooney! Could be wrong. Nice. Alfari, yeah, afraid of getting dope. Okay, so here's another look. And this is just after uh, Sword Art denied the previous engage. What a flash there. Dodges out on the hook, gets the stun, but instantly gets killed because he had just used his immunity in the last engage from Core JJ. 
Uh, then Lost is able to follow up. No more bullets for Tactical, so. To try and push up in the lanes, to try and get value out of the Pantheon Global. Nice, gets the shuffle back on a Jensen. Flashless, easy kill on the Zoe. Nicely done, Speaker grabs the kill, makes sure it got handed over. Nicely played all around by TSM. It's looking pretty massive. If they ha they can keep either Azir ultimate or Nar to mark the cannon to make sure that Alfari doesn't get a big uh, initiation for themselves. All right, Flashdown comes good. across. Knew he was gonna go for the plate, but now they might find the rest of the engage. Damage on Core JJ has to kite away. Tries to run, finds an ulti, which gets, I believe, immune by Sword Art. He's behind him now. And there is not an easy way out for the Team Liquid duo lane. The scoop comes oh. across. Can it first buy some time? It is a two for one so far, though. Double kill for Power of Evil. Hoonies here in the NAR back line as well, and he wants another. It's already three kills picked up. It's a quadra kill for Power of Evil, and TSM took that personally. What a beautiful fight. For the rest of the members to try and heal back up within the alcove, Jensen. Yeah, has to burn his flash to stay alive. Goes for poke. This is dangerous. If Sorter had a Q back up. The squad thing, he burned Zonia's because he was afraid of getting CC comboed. I get it. It makes total sense. I mean, it would have been, you know, 700 health missing, but now Huni is stuck. Minionar under the turret. Ult comes across. No way to live. Santorin ults for good measure, and that is a kill in the bottom lane. Team Link gets the summoner out of him. Flash still down regardless. Another stun comes across from Huni, and now the reinforcements will arrive, so it's going to be a 2v2. Half health bar finds the slow, finds the shuffle on the two of them again. Again, Hooney sets it up and PoE knocks him down. But uh, TSM are cleaning pretty much everything out. Maybe uh, they just wait until they can, uh, you know. Oh, never mind. Opportunistic hook. And that's what we were talking about the CC, but Power of Evil just barely stays alive. Just Honestly, this whole game is just going to devolve into this. It's oh, literally no. it's literally Team Liquid like, can we get a lucky pick? Oh, no, we can't. Jensen. Oh, no. Jensen flashing over the wall. Might stay safe. They can't find the anchor toss either. There we go. Jensen tries to find the poke, and oh, he just died. Lost collects the kill. I'll let it pass. Yeah, this one checks out. <laughs> Uh, for sure it does. So, over the wall goes Huni, and hey look, Baron has begun. They brought back the ward. Huni's gonna buy some time, and I have seen this before as well. Power of Evil plus one person just doing Baron as fast as possible. No one's here. It took them 30 minutes to make sure they got the rest of it. We're not gonna get a sneaky ult, but to come through, and it is gonna be the claim. And indeed, nice looking gonna give them that. Lost. Yep, still, again, playing behind the minions enough that he's never getting hit by Zoe. Even if it's bad, he's got the QSS. Uh, on Pantheon, actually not on himself, but he's got a stopwatch, which isn't too bad. Ults in, finds damage, goodbye, ooh, deletion! Ooh, ooh, Hello, ooh. Jensen is dead, and they don't need Dragon Soul. TSM just gonna <laughs> win the game outright. Sword Art puts on some Cloud9 Flare for good measure, and this is the push now to end ooh. the game. I hope he tweets something, Matt. I hope he tweets something after the game with, oh, yeah. with how spicy it's been. TSM, they basically have just sent TL back a year. Oh, this is this is this is death. This is death. The attempt for Alfari. A bunch of Zonias though keep him alive. Alfari can't get a single kill. The snipes are gonna try. Sword Art's not even gonna burn down. They're gonna find the kills. They're gonna find the game. Time to change your name, cause TSM won. Oh, the wholesome music. Hootie's cheering.